coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. In an effort to aid in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, the Republic of China Taiwan has donated a total of 10,000 surgical masks to St. Lucian judicial workers, including frontline policemen and firefighters. The Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, recognized the important role the frontline workers play in keeping the country safe. The Ambassador explained that the donation forms part of Taiwan's commitment to assisting the people of St. Lucia. The Minister for Home Affairs and National Security, Senator Honorable Herman Guild Francis, expressed gratitude to the Government of the Republic of China Taiwan for their continuous support. The handing over ceremony of the surgical face masks took place on Friday, August 14, 2020. Last week, city police officers concluded training and lectures on searching, case file compilation, care custody, prisoner rights and ticketing offences. The training was facilitated by Mr. Forster Chico of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. This was preceded by a three-day training program on effective communication conducted in partnership with the Ministry of Justice and the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Mayor Peterson D. Francis said the objective is continuous training and development of city police officers to meet the high demands of the job. In keeping with its policy of inclusion, the government of St. Lucia has been strengthening its relationship with St. Lucians in the diaspora to greater support and facilitate their contributions towards national development via investment, skill transfer, trade, tourism and other goodwill initiatives. The St. Lucian diaspora has always played an important and integral role in the development of Fair Helen. Its contribution to St. Lucia is priceless. As St. Lucia adapts to life with COVID-19, the government is further increasing outreach to St. Lucians in the diaspora who are desirous of contributing to the development of the country. This is an opportunity for the diaspora to be a part of the recovery of St. Lucia post-COVID-19. The St. Lucia Diaspora Affairs Unit, headed by Ambassador Her Excellency Joyce Lynn Fletcher, is ready and willing to provide the required assistance to help you contribute to St. Lucia's recovery and development. To find out how you can participate in the development of St. Lucia, contact Dr. Joycelyn Clark Fletcher, Ambassador for Diaspora Affairs, at joycelyn.fletcher at govt.lc. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.